So guys, it seems that we've still had a uh, distinct lack of information about Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And um, in all reality, it's had a bit of an effect on my channel because <laughs> there's not been much for me to report on. And you might have noticed it's been quite a while since I've uploaded some actual live, new, fresh Black Ops 4 gameplay. That's because I quit. I quit. I, I honestly quit Black Ops 4. I just couldn't play the game anymore. It's just not for me. But one thing ha happened from me not playing uh, Black Ops 4 anymore. I did do a video called... Uh, the re uh, uh, what did I call it now? Black Ops 4, the, the most frustrating Call of Duty ever, I believe. It was titled something along, along them lines. And I've had people still commenting on that video to this day. And it made me watch the video again. And I did think to myself, not a bad video at all. But there are certain things I've highlighted in that video that I believe uh, if Modern Warfare went down the same line there could be issues with this next Call of Duty. So it's basically a video of what we could learn from Black Ops 4 and what we certainly don't want to see in Modern Warfare. So the first thing is quite obvious and you probably already predicted what I'm going to say here. And that is the health situation that was in Black Ops 4. 150 health, 200 health if you had shield. Now for me, I still to this day can't work out why and who chose to even implement this into the game it just it was just nonsense and it will always remain in my opinion a nonsense move call of duty has been built from the ground up as a, a twitch shooter you clip the wet the, the rate the weapons fire and all those sort of stuff and the, the, the amount of damage dealt is based upon it being a fast twitch shooter you're supposed to take a few shots be the first person to get the shots off get the kill move on to the next it's it's always been that that way black ops one was delicious for that you could end the game in three minutes if you really got into your flow it was just such a great game there were games where it would go to time out because <laughs> it was just that ghost was just awful but in the initial start of the cycle of black ops you could really get flowing and most call of duty games it's the same modern warfare 2 was a perfect example Predator, Harriers, Chopper Gunner, game over, nuclear. But what they chose to do in Black Ops 4 was prolong that period of time that it took to actually get rid of your enemy. And you just could never do stuff like get quad, fiends at quad feeds and all the things that the Call of Duty community has found entertaining to watch over the years on YouTube and ent entertaining to feel. That was taken away in Black Ops 4. I literally had to play the hardcore mode just to get that feeling again, which is, it's, it's, it's not a great feeling having to play a game mode that, yes, I've played previously, but I'd much prefer to play the core game mode with the majority of the player base. So moving on to the next one. I genuinely believe that Modern, uh, modern Warfare, Black Ops 4 had one of the worst connections I've ever experienced in Call of Duty. Now, I know a lot of the OGs are going to come out of woodworks and say, well, you, <laughs> you, you, you seem to be forgetting Modern Warfare 2 and blah, blah, blah. But me personally, I never experienced any issues with my connection. Um, yes, I had people in my lobby lagging, but as soon as I got a net doomer, that seemed to not happen anymore. So I wish Call of Duty and Activision and the developers would implement something in their game where you could select a region you want to play in. Like set a radius of 100 miles and you only play people who are within that radius. Ping is always king and always will be in regards to games like this. I don't want to come across skill-based matchmaking taking priority over my connection, which is the next thing we're going to swiftly move on to, but briefly talk about because I've done several videos about SBMM. We don't want it in the game. Stop forcing it down our throat. Create a ranked playlist for people who want to really, really sweat it out. Take 
take heed from other games, Rainbow Six Siege, even Fortnite has got its own ranked playlist now, so the casuals can turn up, have a couple beers with their mates and have a laugh on Friday and Saturday night. Stop forcing the MLG agenda down our throats. Once again, I've done a video about this as well, 99% of the community is a casual player the 1% that seems to be so vocally loud and, and make so many decisions for the majority. It's just not how the game goes. Why is this gun black and white? I have no, well, it's obviously not because the player card's still color. Well, that's a bit weird, really weird. Anyway, back on topic, guys. So we don't really need to speak about specialists because it's been confirmed that in terms of specialist, specialists, we're not going to get them again. And this has been a massive gripe for me. We've had several Call of Duties now with specialists, free kills for the non-skilled players, but it brings me on to exactly what I want to speak about, which is a skill gap. It's been compressed over the years. A lot of people might really try and say to me, oh, there's no skill involved. There's no real skill gap involved in Call of Duty, but I guarantee you, if you put Marker J and certain types of players, Swag, all those types of players, against you on another team you're gonna get annihilated there's always a dominant player in call of duty and i know some very dominant players who have consistently performed and every call of duty that we've ever played which would say to me there is a skill gap there is a way to play this game better than it's just a hierarchy system that's how the world works there is always someone who will be better than you at something it's just how it's been worked out it's how it works so Stuff like headshots and things that are going to take more skill. I would like to see them re-implemented in the, the game. You know, the, the Shiva was a great weapon. But if the Shiva was used in a time where headshots were still viable and it was a one-shot kill, then yes, it would be a high risk high reward type of weapon and i love seeing them sorts of things involved in call of duty so i'd love to see those sorts of things come back as well score streaks is just something that has not been up to scratch in my opinion in the last good few uh call of duty so i'm gonna keep that one brief and just hope that in general i'm not i'm not gonna chastise black ops 4 here Call of Duty in general just needs to improve its score streaks and make them aggressive and powerful and rewarding to the player that has grafted to get them. I've said this so many times before, but my final point that I really want to bring to light and probably one of the biggest points, which will really turn off the whole community very quickly, is that the sheer lack of content and the sheer repetitiveness of content we've had the peacekeeper in three call of duties now maybe it could actually be four no it's three call of duties black ops 2 black ops 3 and the same recycled gun in black ops 4 and we're expected to pay for these sort of things which are just lazy to me and just shows the discontent that these people probably have for the the community it's time to show us that you actually give a damn about your own product and you actually give about a damn about the people who buy your product so i really want to see some effort in terms of skins in terms of um the the you, you know the um gunsmith type of weapons where you, you i don't mind buying cosmetic items like that for a gun that's going to look good to me on a first person shooter i'm constantly looking at my gun so i have no objections in paying for those sort of micro transactions not gambling for them and having no chance it took me how long to get that peacekeeper how long and um, Treyarch have just really dealt with things really bad in terms of content, maps uh, and, and, and stuff that are cosmetically done on Black Ops 4. So these are the lessons that Modern Warfare certainly need to learn from Black Ops 4. But I haven't given you everything that I, I think because I want you guys to tell me down in the comment section what are the things that you think could be uh, modern warfare could learn from black ops 4 and what do you think they should implement into the game that has not been in black ops 4 or that is in black ops 4 and it should be done differently answers on a postcard or down in the comment section guys there are many buttons you could hit but i like the subscribe button update to your fancy and as always guys 
don't forget to stay on the right track. Peace.